Hey everybody, Joseph here from La Clinica La Manzana. Um, today we're going to make a quick video on something I have asked quite a few times from me, and it is about keys that double press or do not respond at all to being pressed in a normal manner. Um, this is for the butterfly keyboards. Unfortunately, uh, they don't make them anymore. <laughs> that is a recall. Um, before anything, I recommend that you contact Apple to see if your system is still under warranty or not. And if it is, under the extended recall program, have them take care of it. They uh, replace the whole keyboard without any cost. So, let's see here. I want the desktop. It was kind of reflective. Let's see here. show you exactly what's going on first. Um, for this system, it is the U key. And it's kind of hard for you to see. I actually can't see it at all. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you get the scanner further out. Basically, you touch it, and your key might pop up once, might not pop up at all, might pop up twice, uh, might not react. And that is what we are going to fix today. So it's an interesting method that I use, uh, but hopefully this will help someone. So let's kind of set things up here, what we need, want to be able to see under the microscope. Okie dokie, switch to microscope view. Here. So it is the U key is the one that we're having an issue with. So to take these off, there's a couple methods. There's a special fancy tool to do it. I like to just take, um, actually, some sort of a pick and it's under the top of it that you want to go you don't want to get very far um actually i say pick i'm going to use tweezers i have another video kind of explaining this a little bit better and what you're doing is you are releasing the top of it because that is where the two snaps are um here at the top it clips onto these two using these little guys. These down here are spoons that go around. So if you pry them up, you're going to either break the spoon off or you're going to break one of these little nylon pegs off. Now the issue itself is actually here under this button. Oh, so we're going to get a fresh razor blade. Oh, I in particular am using number, are these 15s? Pretty sure these are number 15s. Um, blades. Yep, these are number 15 Andy. Go ahead. Stick a new blade on. And what we are going to do is work from the outside. Um, now, there's a couple layers here. Specifically, what we're trying to cut up is this very outer layer. We're trying to get between the glue and um, the nylon, the, the clear plastic thing underneath of it. I'm going to have to get up and go get some glue. When putting this back down, we are going to be gluing it. But you get a little fair amount in there. This does take a little practice to be able to do. Um, so you don't really like just lift the plastic up. I'll probably do that at least once. Cut the wrong part of it. Which is going pretty well. Once you have a corner started, I like to take my favorite tweezers, grab that little corner that has started, and lift up on it. Whoops. And press down on other keys while you're at it. Then you just get a fair amount. You don't take it all the way off because you're going to end up laying glue down here on the sides. And what you're trying to get to is this little guy right here. Now you'll see in this corner, this is some of the adhesive right here um, that. It's like a big adhesive sticker when they put it down at the factory. Take that off so you don't bend it. Um, actually going to be up here at the top as well. Might as well free those up a little. You're trying to just get this out. Notice the direction. It's kind of like a U. Uh, the arrow is pointing upwards. And what happens is you can see this little part right there on the pad. Um, it's a little tarnished. That's really the issue. 
um, kind of dirty. I don't know if you saw a little dirt flake off of there, but that's what this issue really is. I like to take my tweezers and lightly scratch some zigzags into this. You can kind of see up here, a bunch of the dirt came off and it went up. Might as well clean this little part down here as well. I'm not putting a lot of pressure at all. Then I do the zigzag the other direction as well. Down here. And now you want to also clean up these, a couple of these here in the corners. Basically what's happening is over time, maybe some dust, some oxidation, some air is getting into it. Well, obviously air is getting into it. And that is causing there to be a not a very good connection. And why it double taps is because um, it detects that it was pressed twice because the connection is that bad. It might touch itself twice in a millisecond. So then here also, be careful if you're doing this on other keys. I'm doing this just so you can visually see at the moment um, on this key. Also like to burnish up these a little. Burnish up, just scratching them up, putting a new little surface on them. Not pressing hard at all. You can bend this, you can break it. Try not to do either of those. Um, clean up here. It's good to do with those clean hands. If you have oily, sweaty hands, please wear gloves because getting oil on this also is going to cause some issues. So that's it. Good to go. Go ahead, take it, put it back in the direction. We can try to center up a little bit here. Make sure if there are these um, sticky things up in the corners that you get underneath of them. Because if you go on top of them, then it's not going to be able to touch. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Now I'm going to have to get up. Please excuse me. All right. So, um, I'm going to use... T7000 because it's black. It's very easy for you to see. We're going to lift up here and we're just going to put a very. First, we're going to clean it off. Let's see how it comes out. Okay, that's how it's coming out. Going to put a very light dusting of this on the border. When I say light, I mean light. You don't want to get this in really any other mechanism. Now, it's there. Kind of fold it down a little. I like to take the back of the tweezers. Kind of massage it down. Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking it and I'm like pushing on the glue to spread it out. With the back of the tweezers because it's a little bit more blunt. And... Um, you'll see that there's a little excess sticky glue that stuck out here. Give it a minute. Um, this is a pretty quick drying glue or setting to a degree glue. Um, you really don't want any sticking out because the keycap can stick down to it. And then you have a different type of problem. So once it's there, go ahead and, you know, kind of clean it out like you would with dried rubber cement. There we go. Come on, you. I suppose, I haven't tried this, let's see. Can you use a Q-tip? Should be easy enough. Should stick the Q-tip. Yeah, does not want to stick to the Q-tip. It's a little bit too rigid. Grab that, okay, I'm happy with that. Our butterfly mechanism still flexes perfectly fine. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and put the keycap back on. Um, so your spoon's down there at the bottom. So you might a little clip those in first and then push down at the top. 
Now, every time you touch it, it works. Wonderful. No more double. I wish I could show you that better. Let's see. <laughs> Light off. You. Press, 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 press. Just how it should be. Beautiful. So, that's how we are taking care um, of a couple of these keyboard issues. One key at a time. The space bar is a harder key to take off, obviously. The shift keys, some of the keys can be a little bit more finicky. Practice. Practice on how to take a keycap off without breaking it, without breaking the butterfly mechanism. You don't want to break the spoons, the clips, or especially the little um, poles that are sticking out on the side of the butterfly mechanism itself because if you break off one of those, the keycap will not stay on. It will fall off after being used a bit. And, um, oh yeah, that's pretty much the process. It's pretty quick. It's pretty simple. Um, cutting it is going to be probably the hardest part as well as your control with putting the right amount of glue in. Scratching it up, I think it's pretty easy. You just have to have a good pair of tweezers. I hope you learned something. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe and like it. Uh, I'd appreciate it. And... Well, I hope you learned something. See you guys next time.